Welcome to the next entry in a monthly Fextralife series highlighting the top 5 RPGs for the next month. In this edition, we're going to take a look at what we think are the best RPGs releasing in the month of July and talk a little bit about each and why we think so highly of them. Hop in and discover some new games you haven't heard of or learn a little more about ones you do know. At number 5, Immortal Planet. Created by independent Polish developer TW Games, creator of the 2D platformer Ronin, Immortal Planet for PC is an action RPG Souls-like with a classic isometric view. You travel to an icy planet and become an undead warrior who has risen from cryosleep. You will learn the secrets of the world as you escape your tomb. The intricately designed levels are based on single checkpoints, featuring increasingly stronger enemies and you can take them all out with a variety of weapons such as swords, firearms, and magic. Whatever you choose, the game rewards patience and punishes recklessness, and you will die over and over again but can regain your lost experience. The game features a retro feel with slick visuals and should intrigue fans of dungeons and difficulty. At number 4, Fallen Legion, Sins of an Empire. Developed by Yummy 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 and coming to the West on PS4 and PS Vita, Fallen Legion combines action and empire building to make a unique RPG. The game takes place in the dark fantasy setting of Phenumia, and you will help Princess Cecile save her kingdom from ruin by fighting off enemies both inside the kingdom and abroad. The Vita version follows the story from a completely different perspective by letting you play the game from her rival, the goddess Lender's perspective, as he attempts to overthrow the royal family. On the battlefield, you'll control four characters at once and make use of combo-based attacks in real time. You will have to choose which factions to side with and in split seconds that will have far-reaching impacts in the game. Fallen Legion is rounded out with stunning hand-drawn art and a full voice acting cast. At number 3, Sundered. Sundered is a 2D Metroidvania RPG developed by Thunder Lotus Games of Jotun fame. In Sundered, you take on the role of a wanderer who travels through a post-apocalyptic landscape. The game's mechanics are closely tied to the story as the protagonist will exchange his humanity for powers and what you choose will determine the ending of the game. The world is heavily procedural and has you traversing underground cave and tunnel networks. You will encounter challenging enemies and bosses along the way and will obtain better gear and artifacts that let you improve your abilities. In true Metroidvania fashion, as you progress, you will unlock new locations, enemies, and items. At number 2, Pyre. Pyre is a tactical RPG from indie studio Supergiant Games, creators of the beloved Bastion and Transistor. Set in a purgatory-like land of downside, you are in control of a party of exiles who are seeking to battle their way out of this forsaken land. These battles are called rites and take the form of a battle arena similar to MOBAs and games like Rocket League. You travel the overworld during the day, taking on encounters, and at night, you plan your next steps which impact the land. When in battle, you will use the abilities of your exiles to capture a glowing orb and toss it into your enemy's column of fire, eventually destroying it and winning the game. As you play, you'll progress your exiles and improve and unlock their stats and abilities and can mix and match three exiles for a match from the roster of 20 plus. The game adds replay with local co-op and lets you challenge a friend on the couch. The studio's trademark narrative and storytelling will certainly be on full display. And our top RPG for the month of July, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age is a remastered version of the beloved JRPG from Square Enix and features some complete overhauls of the original PS2 game system. Set in a world that is being torn apart at its seams by a war between two forces, protagonist Van and Princess Ash have an unlikely crossing of paths that leads to a world-saving journey. The modern appointments extend into things like trophy support, autosave, shorter loads, difficulty choices, and more. A new trial mode gives players a stiffer challenge, the high speed mode quickens the traversal of the world, and added to the game is the Zodiac job system. The Zodiac system replaces the licensed system of the first and gives your characters unique skills and stat progression, allowing for some fine tuned specialization. There will be about a dozen jobs to choose from, such as Archer, Knight, and Mage. Adding to this depth of customization is the ability to equip two jobs simultaneously on a character, allowing you to, in essence, multi-class, giving you back a little more of the freedom that the original possessed. 
This month, we're starting to see some more well-known developers and publishers releasing RPGs compared to the last two months, and that is only going to ramp up as the year rolls on. What are your thoughts on the list? Any other RPGs you're looking forward to in July? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you dig the video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to find out when we release new content. Thanks for watching. Happy role playing.